But I was somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 years old and I didn't come from a church family. I went to a revival at a local church where I lived and, and it was a pretty hard preaching for a 10 year old. And uh, it frightened me, you know. Uh, if I didn't get baptized, saved, baptized, walk down the aisle and, and say the words, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna die and go to hell or if the end of time came, you know, I was gonna go to hell. And I knew what that was and it scared me to death. And so, you know, I took care of it. You know, I, I went, went to church for a while there and, and and I would be uncomfortable and it would it would make me up but I you know I tried to think well maybe you know maybe I'm okay you know I never had a relationship with the Lord mm. it's uh, I've never you know I've prayed when things were bad uh, things that I couldn't handle you know I've always cast a prayer to the Lord and you know maybe he'd answer it Hoped he'd answer it, but uh, was didn't have a lot of faith that that he would. As I think back on my life, hmm. you know he was always there. You know all I had to do was reach out. But September the 22nd, Monday, is, uh, he called me and uh, I just desperately needed to put things right. Well, you know, it was just like any normal Monday morning. Uh, I got up, got my coffee, got ready for work and and I just, you know, things just started flashing through my head that morning. And, you know, for what reason, I, I didn't know at the time. Uh, you know, Bible verses, uh, questions that I had had, answers that I had heard. And, and it kept ringing in my head, you know, uh, are you sure? You know, are you sure that if you died or if, if, you know, the sun's rising. If if Christ is on the horizon, are, are you going with him? And and I had to answer honestly, no. I went in, put on my works boots, and put on my hat and and the scripture there, John, that my son had given me had First John two through four, and 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 I just went to the truck and got my Bible and opened it up and and read those and uh, you know it says if you say you know me and you don't follow my commands you're a liar and I said Chuck you're a liar and uh, I went and told my boss I said I'm gonna take half a day today <laughs> you know I made a beeline for Meadowbrook and uh, James was here and I told him what I felt, where I was in my life. We shared some scripture. We went to our knees. I surrendered to God and asked Jesus Christ into my heart. Check who is your Lord. Amen. And upon that profession of faith, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.